Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Gao Xiaoxin from Peking Union Medical College. Uh, in China, we have a different medical education system, so I'm kind of as the last year medical student here. Hi, um, I'm Zhou Ying uh, from Peking Union Medical College, too, it's from Beijing, China. And I'm also a last year medical student. Uh, it's my, I feel it's really an honor for me to be here to attend this uh, IBD elective program, which is one of the best IBD centers in the States, really. Oh, that's a, that's a huge amount of things that I learned here, because um, it's a little bit different from that of China. I came here and um, have a better understanding of the, uh, the American medical system, how it runs, and uh, the medical education system, how the medical students are trained here. And we have a bunch of uh, teaching every day. It's a um, very uh, valuable experience. And um, we have uh, met a few uh, colleagues who come from different places of the world. So we share our different stories. That is a very fantastic experience. Uh, for me, um, you know, before I came here, my expectation is like um, I'm going to see tons of IBD patients. I'm going to see the most advanced um, care uh, service here for IBD patients. But after one month, I find I learned much more than that. Um, the thing that impressed me most is that the comprehensive uh, health care service here for IBD patients. Here we have inpatient service, outpatient service, the endoscopy, and um, last month, but not least is the patient education. Uh, here we have a lot of um, I mean, patient support groups. Actually, uh, doctors and nurses have a very great follow-up with these um, patients, and they talk a lot. Um, and uh, another thing is that I find um, primary care physicians here cooperate very great with these specialties, which helps a lot for these patients. That's the most um, impressive thing I think. Yeah, I couldn't agree more because um, uh, in China we usually have nurses and doctors, but in the U.S., a group of uh, healthcare providers come here uh, and work together collaboratively to make the best decisions to the patients. Uh, they have uh, doctors, pharmacists, nurse, social worker, and chaplain. Sometimes, yeah, that's very impressive. I have been thinking of choosing GI as my subspecialty in the future. So I choose IBD as this as an elective program here. Um, I mean, uh, University of Chicago Medical Center is one of the best medical schools here in the States and also around the world. So it's really a great experience, very valuable experience for me to be here to see the most advanced um, health care service, especially for IBD, which is one of the most hot and popular disease in GI field. So it's really valuable. Okay, well, as for me, um, I have two... Um, I have some uncertainty what what subspecialty I will take in the future, so I'm here to uh, experience these two disciplines, which is uh, neurology and endocrinology. And I'm here for one month uh, in the neuro ICU, and I think um, people here are um, taught me a lot about the basic uh, uh, knowledge in this field, and also they have uh, we have uh, actually we have uh, English courses back at our uh, home institution, but uh, sometimes um, when you really come to one setting, one scenario that you can apply the English, the language into uh, the real practice. So I think it's a very good bridging process um, and it's very uh, important for a physician in the future because we need to have international meetings, we need to um, talk to different scholars from different countries and we need to publish some papers. Well, that's very um, fantastic experience. And uh, for another thing is that um, here, when we observe the practice here, um, doctors usually do a lot of uh, um, decision making because you need to um, 
you need to consider taking into consideration all the uh, opinions from different um, groups. For example, the pharmacists, uh, nurses, and the families and patients, etc. So uh, I think uh, that's um, very a little bit different from uh, China, mm, and uh, I benefit a lot from that because to some patients. They what they want is not uh, just uh, keep their them alive, but to live a very decent life. So um, here we can usually see patients with DNR, but that is not a very common phenomenon in China. So I can um, learn a lot from different cultures. Okay, well I'm in your ICU right now, so. From 7 to uh, probably 9, we usually have the pre-round and I could do some uh, neuro examinations and, uh, with, uh, with the supervisor, with my supervisor, usually a senior doctor. And then I will write my own notes uh, to keep down everything that I have, including the lab results the imaging results and the events overnight and then I'll report it during the round to the attending and fellows. And usually we have a teaching round in the afternoon, uh, which I enjoy most uh, because they usually um, will teach us something on a, centered on a specific uh, topic. And later we usually have a um, sign out and that's pretty much one day of uh, my rotation here. Uh, for me it's kind of different because IB Center both has uh, inpatient service, outpatient service and uh, endoscopy. Uh, usually um, we'll start a day, for me I start a day from pre-run. I usually they assign me one or two patients, I'll see them, talk to them and uh, then I will report or uh, present the patient overnight um, to my fellow or attending. And after round, round, round usually won't take very long, uh, maybe one or two hours. Then we have the outpatient clinic. Uh, sometimes we have endoscopy. So it's kind of full schedule. I mean, I mean inpatients and outpatients, and so sometimes we have some consult. Um, very different. Every day has different schedule, but still it's very full schedule. City? Ah, I love it. Uh, I mean, it's a big city, although it's very cold, it, and some people told me it's the best winter ever, but still I love it. I, I went to downtown several times. Uh, I see these uh, high buildings. Um, the, I went to the um, Art Institute, and also I see the uh, Chicago Bean. They are wonderful, really. Yeah, I agree, because um all the skyscrapers are really well laid out in downtown, so that's very beautiful. And uh, also, the lake view is very fantastic. And uh, I think people here are very great. They are friendly, they are passionate, and and they're open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I feel very comfortable living here. Sure. Definitely. Um, uh, I think this opportunity is very valuable. Um, I, I mean, uh, some fellows in IBSN told me they don't have a lot of medical students. Uh, so if students who are interested in GI, I think it's, very, it's a very precious opportunity if they have this one. Yeah, yeah me too. Because um, uh, we, I, I just learned that they're actually not very, very many medical students here, I mean the local students, also um, international students, so, uh, they lack international students actually. So I think it's a very good opportunity and very good experience for international students coming here because uh, here um, all, the, uh, all the medical staff, I mean attending fellows and residents, they do a lot of teaching every day and they just uh, they are eager to pass on to their knowledge to the medical students here and also you can feel people are very humorous they are very friendly here so i mean uh, if there are chances i i would like to let more chinese 
medical students know this opportunity and encourage them to apply for this chance. First, I, I, I would like to thank um, University of Chicago, especially Center for Global Health and our home institution to provide such a good chance for us. And uh, secondly, I've been working with um, many doctors in your ICU and Dr. Frank, who um, his teaching style is very, very fantastic and he could always um, take me Venner, the venture in the field I'm unfamiliar with, and uh, Dr. Quiva, who is very um, passionate, Dr. Ardelt, and many fellows like Chris, like um, Mazian and Alejandro, and lots of people I would like to thank. And last but not least, I would like to thank my sponsor here, uh, Dr. Lucas, who take good care of me and I will spend uh, a few days next month with him. Um, of course, I also want to thank everyone who makes this um, program possible, including my, co my college, and of course Dan, you and Eileen, and the, you are very nice to help us to make all this thing make it possible. And of course, we want to thank Alexandra who helped us to contact the, uh, um, our sponsors. Um, besides this, I also want to thank all the attending fellows and nurse practitioner who uh, I've stayed with this month. Uh, I want to thank my sponsor, Dr. Ruben, and of course the attending this month, um, Dr. Um, Cohen and Dalau, and as so many fellows, I like Cami, um, Ben, and Wiener, and Sheila, they are all very great, they are very nice to me. I mean, uh, actually in IV centers, they don't have medical students, they don't have residents. A lot of work is done by nurse practitioner. They, actually, I can't do a lot of things because kind of subspecialty is very uh, advanced. Uh, but still, they assign me patients, uh, they uh, teach me to do a lot of basic work there. So I really want to thank them to give me this precious experience here.